live from New York. It's your Yu-Gi-Oh! News, news Gio, with your host, Davinator1212. Good evening, I'm Davinator1212, and welcome to your November 2019 edition of news Gio. Thank you for joining us, and these are tonight's top stories. November 22nd was actually my 30th birthday, so now that I'm officially, like, a boomer, we can start complaining about some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That date also saw the release of Mystic Fighters, a set that has been lacklusterly received. <laughs> the latest OTS packs, Ultra Rares, have been leaked, and I'll just say, they're actually quite spicy. And with the release of several new sets, like the main box Aerial Assault, Duel Links has seen a meta shakeup. All this and more on tonight's edition of News Gyo. Starting off tonight, we're going to be looking at some of the worst cards in that lackluster set, Mystic Fighters. Mostly so I have an excuse to put top whatever in the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> Otherwise, no one watches these. So it'll be really quick, but whatever. Now the real question is, do I do the News Geo voice or the Davenator voice for the rest of this segment? I have no idea. Mystic Fighters is a very interesting deck building set where it contains 90% of the cards you would need to make one of three archetypes. The Generators, the Math Mechs, and the Dragon Maids. Ironically, the most boring one of them, the, uh, Math Mechs? Conceptually wise, uh, based on just the concept of math, is actually probably one of the better of the three. And the most fan service uh, Dragon Maid deck is actually probably arguably the worst. But overall, none of these are going to shake up the meta, which is really great because no one's sick of Sky Strikers, Thunder Dragons, and Salads... yet. God, please, just release a new deck. So let's shit on the set. Number five is Math Mech Super Factorial. Math Mechs like to make big extra deck monsters, so a trap card that facilitates these is not the worst thing in the world and lets you exceed or synchro summon on your opponent's turn. However, it's a continuous trap card in an aggressive deck, so it just seems a little bit out of place, and arguably the best of the worst cards. Next up is Dragon's Gunfire. I'm not sure what year this is, and uh, what the hell, but Dragon's Gunfire is the kind of dragon support card that the dragon maids <laughs> really do not need. It's like whoever made this set decided that it'd be really cool just to use YGO Pro, type in the words dragon, and pick a couple random cards. The spell card says if you control a dragon monster, you can either do 800 burn damage to your opponent or destroy something with 800 or less defense. Wow. Next up is Generator Boss Loot. While you control a token, your opponent cannot target Grenadier effect monsters for battle. If your opponent does manage to destroy one of your Generator monsters, in battle, they get to draw a card. Ugh. You can only use this effect once per turn. I have no idea how this deck works, uh, so uh, I'm presumably you're trying to get your opponent to draw cards? which explains the number two on the list. However, I don't care how good your deck is, giving your opponent free advantage after they're destroying cards on your side of the field, basically giving th them supply squad? That's really bad, like, ugh. No wonder no one cares about this set. Number two is Heavy Slump. Here's a card we definitely needed a reprint for. Heavy Slump's a trap card that says if your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand, they shuffle their entire hand into their deck and then draw two cards. This might be one of the best cards in the game that allows your opponent to draw cards simply because the net advantage they lose over is, is just overwhelmingly crazy. However, the activation condition of your opponent having to have more than the max hand limit is like never going to happen if you don't have max C in the game. If we had max C, maybe, maybe this card would be an okay reprint just so that people have the option to use it as a side deck card. However, uh, I assuming you're supposed to use it with the gren generator thing. I want to call them grenaders. However, it's just, it's not a great card. It'll, it just, never will work. But when it does... And last, but not least, we have Dragon Maid Downtime as number one. This continuous trap card lets you return one of your Dragon Maid monsters to your hand to do one of the following things. Add a Dragon Maid card from your deck to your hand except this card. Or B, bounce one of your opponent's spell or traps. Wow. A rota that searches your entire archetype, not just your monsters, is very good. However, having to bounce a monster you control is lame. It being a trap card is lame. The fact that your opponent can negate it with MST is really lame. And oh boy, uh, that bouncing it back row. <laughs> Talk about putting off problems until later. But on the whole, this is just probably the worst card in the worst archetype in Mystic Fighters. 
Moving on to a much more competitive set, OTS-12. Recently, we got a leak of the ultimate rares as well as some of the supers. With interesting things like super rare Grand Maju de Erza, and the primal being token thing for your big number, means that there is some really nifty chase super rares. However, it's the ultimate rares that definitely sell this set to the competitive players. It's going to make you want to go to locals to get them wins. You have Ultimate Rare, Solemn Judgment, Twin Twister, and Levionaire. Oh boy. Oh, do they know their audience though. I want those judgments. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I want them bad. For all you rarity whores out there, this will be truly your set. The Grand Maju de Erza reprint is, that's actually probably solid because I think he's only ever had like one print and it's just that ugly common. So, okay, good on them. Good, good on them. Next up, we look at the ever-evolving tier list in the Duel Links metagame. Uh, however, uh, due to conflicting schedules with the holiday this week, uh, Jason was unavailable to shoot his segment, so uh, we'll have to come up with... Oh! <laughs> This'll work. <laughs> What's up, Duel Link fans? It's your boy Ty Wolf, and this is the Duel Links Corner. Jason is going to be so mad. <laughs> Say, Dave. Yes, Jason? Me being a puppet is probably gonna make this a coppa nightmare. I'm not for kids. I'm just setting myself up for failure here at this point. Duel Links meta. <laughs> I can't even do this. I'll handle it. The Duel Links tier list is ever evolving. And with the KC Cup this month, it's important for you players out there to know what you're gonna play against. And I can't keep these glasses on my head Cause they're just an old prescription that Dave had. I'm... <coughs> For your tier 3, Amato, Awato Stun, and Crystrons are definitely going to be what you're going to encounter in the early rounds of the KC Cup. As far as a tier 2, you probably won't see too much. Maybe Fortune Ladies in the earlier rounds. However, your tier 1 is absolutely crazily diverse at this point. You got Black Wings, Dark Lords, Evoked, and the brand new Ritual Beast. So be careful out there, Duel Link fans, and you can be as successful. This is literally the most ridiculous segment I've ever done. But anyway, that's the Duel Link's Corner. Back to you, Dave. Thanks. Thanks, Jace. And the final story for the night. This is what happens when you don't script these things. The final story for the night is a follow-up of last month's story with Crystron Needle Fiber. The TCG overlords over at Konami have finally decided to grace us with Crystron Needle Fiber. However, it has been renamed to... Oh... What is this? What is this? Crystron Halkifabrax? Halkifabrax? Hardleg was right. They absolutely butchered it. It's not even a word. And he will be coming out in the Dual Overlord set. It appears to be one of those 100 card dual power type sets where it comes in the cardboard box and it's got the mega packs in it. Obviously, Crystron Needle Fiber is going to be the card that's going to be selling the set. However, there are some other mentioned choice reprints that we do desperately need in the TCG. Namely, Cynet Mining. Just bought a play set for my Marincess. And now I am as salty as the ocean. But the rest of the set is going to contain cards from Link Brains 3. Cubix and Malefix. So like, Vrains and the movies. Hmm. As well as, like I said, some choice reprints. So look forward to Dual uh, Overlord. All these sets have the same stupid Thank you for joining us for this shorter episode of News Geo. Like I said, given the holiday schedules and all this other hooey, it's, uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely a miracle I even managed to have time to make this. So... There's always that. So please join us next month for December's News Geo, which will also probably be an absolute nightmare because all the holidays are at the end of the month. What's up with that? So feel free to join us next month for that absolute nightmare. And uh, Jason Jr., do you have any fa final words for the viewers? I like True Draco. It's the best deck. Remember, kids, always tribute your trap cards and slow play. The Destiny Board tells me that you should subscribe to the channel, or you can watch some of these other videos. Now excuse me, my Millennium Ring has detected another Millennium Item. Oh, it's... it's just Merrick. Akora, did you remember to get milk? We're out of milk. This milk is bad. It was terrible.